I can't even get out of here. I should just change my channel to Dirt and Filth. That could be the channel name. Uh, it's very cold last night, but that's what happens here. Oh, look at those water spots over there. Yeah, check if I have any before the camera dies, because this camera likes to die. I have no idea why that hammer is over there. I haven't been using that thing, I don't think so. Oh, maybe I haven't been using that one, though. Stuff over there, put everything away, so we're not doing anything. We go all mess, more dirt to fill. We lost this thing. Uh, we will wait until tomorrow, I already hear a blower is going, maybe the guy will come later today and just blow shit all over it. I think I have a rust forming around my windshield over there, probably do. Still got to get the crack on windshield, still have, oh someone did freaking, that side is smashed in over there, see two new dents, yep, look at that. This thing, uh, broke too on condo land like many years ago and it just kept progressively worse and you just touch it and this falls apart so I have another one in my room I gotta strip it off but this did blower sound and loud screaming people I just don't want to hear this shit do it another day when it's cloudy uh, five six it's got to be at least two fifth two fifteen 2015 was when the crackhead lady ran condo land uh, the stupid gate came down and cracked it I was gonna bitch but I said forget it it's condo land I had a new one anyway I think on the other side it really really got bad I washed it yesterday and it just disintegrated so Currently, auto vent shade lifetime warranty. I don't have the receipt. So, probably not lifetime. Uh, guarantee all the paint's peeling. Oh, we gotta get this shit off. We got the fade over there, man. This thing's just. It got it good here. Got it real good. Oh, yeah. Nice painter. Look at this peeling right off. Now we're just bored. That we can just go on the paint. Do a little of that too. Comes right off. Yeah. If I ever find a white hood that's not peeling, we're gonna buy it. Let's gonna do the bolt on paint job again. Sell that one or something. That sucks. Now we need hot weather. Look how dirty it is under here. Yep. Auto vent shade. Told the asshole painter guy. See, it just, it's just so weak. These things are another product like this. Covered, not made for, um, hot climates. Not made. Got a lot of work to do. Get noise in here, man. You know those little um, things you put in the drill? I should really get one of those. Take off this shit real fast. This stuff's just kicked on. Another thing about stuff that you didn't do. You didn't create, design it, you didn't make, like the gate coming down, breaking this shit many, many years ago, and I just said, fuck it, I'll put them on when I paint it, but then the thing gets all smashed into, and this shit happens, and we ain't painting it, not around here, paint it, not around here, so... Now you get this to do, like I have nothing else better to do than to do this. And I really don't want to do this. Because again, I didn't create it. I didn't cause it. And it will just happen again. The guy will cut the tree down and it'll fall on it. This will probably crack it more. You never know. Hey, it's the way of the future. Look, I got an electric vehicle. 
This wasn't too cheap to buy a battery. Uh, yeah, another reason why I didn't do this is to have a crazy guy next door who lived here, the old guy. Oh my god, look at all this shit peeling off in the rain. Perfect bodies. So happens when you crash into shit. You say this is the re result when you crash into stuff. When you have body down with a crease on the bottom of the door. And, uh, you get it repaired. This is what you're left with down the road. This is what you're left with. This place is still in business too, I'm fucking unbelievable. How the hell do these people keep going back to this bullshit? No. Uh, yeah, the guy that used to live next door he used to be out here every five seconds too. Another reason why I never changed this. Uh, that's usually really, really hot outside too. The WD 40 is not gonna work too well. I need a heat remover again. You got to spend more money, spend money on products just to go fix something that you indirectly didn't break. Just that you chose to leave this place and come back, and the gate came down and broke the thing like five years ago, more than five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago. That just progressively got worse. The crack, and as did everything else, paint. I got new window runs for these two. I'll never put them on. I won't waste them here. Eh, yeah, I'll kind of come off. One time. I should go power wash it. I'll take all the paint off with it. And WD is kind of working. I really need a heater remover or one of those whizzy things, and I don't want to spend money. So, why spend money just to have another tool sitting around and you have it when more things uh, fuck up, you're better off not having anything. Maybe you won't mess up because you won't have the tool to fix it. The tool's giving you an excuse to mess stuff up. Well, you know, I can just break stuff now. I have the tool. I have the tool. Not a good way to go about things sometimes. Alright. It's getting down there. We'll get it off. Denitrate alcohol or something. One uh, rainstorm might take it off too because the rain's so toxic here. Yeah. Look at this thing cooked too like a... Like you can't even bend that now. 100% cooked. That's the original one, 1994. When you get bored, you know the mosquito spraying that goes on around here. People must bitch in condo land and they, then they get sprayed in here. The chemical that they use is one known to take off automotive paint. Yes, one that is known to take off automotive paint. And is this why I've had ongoing clear coat problems with everything outside? Is this why? How are you going to prove this though? Good luck. Government wins. You get a fucked up vehicle. Oh my god, look at that! Wow! Wow! All blurry. Is that paint flaw or dent? I'm thinking it's a dent right here. That's how the thing came down, so it also dented the door very, very slight, but there's a dent right there. Never notice it until you take things off, and the sun will mess with you here. The sun hides a lot of damage, like the idiot kid about last year it was, actually last year, who said, uh, this truck is clean. And, oh, it's clean. It's clean. Yep, it, it's clean, like, great shape. Oh, yeah, it, it's clean. Great shape. And I was looking at it from the other side, which is even more fucked up than this side. Yeah, blind people in this world. Yeah, that sucks. We got a dent too. WD's working though. It's working. They were also removing our perfect Jack's paint and body work, and 
Bonita Springs now, I believe. Jack's Collision. They're in Bonita Springs. Now they go by the collision name. Collision means crap. See, crap. It's just coming right off with it. You know, there's nice paint he did over here. It's just coming off with it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like wasting money. Why would you have money if you don't waste it? I just enjoy thoroughly doing this. Well, it's actually not hot outside today, but... Oh, there's some more coming off. This one, poof. There's some more coming off, poof. You know, these these places stay in business, which is crazy too. You can be the, you can have the worst possible business these days, to the worst possible work, and you don't have to worry about it because people keep coming back. People keep coming back. It's like the idiot who painted this side years ago. He's still in business. Idiots keep coming back. Transmission shop gives you shit parts. Still open. Idiots keep coming back. You can just thinking about starting a business. You don't have to be any good. And you'll still stay in business. Because idiots keep on coming back. Alright, that's all that's coming off. Go faster though if we turn this off. We need one of those little whiz wheel things, I know, but. Or adhesive remover. I might spend an extra on this. I'll lose the sun soon. And, uh, might have to start doing with alcohol. See, I don't like WD 40 because now you're putting oil on the surface, you're eventually going to put double sided tape on. No, it doesn't make any sense. But, uh, it's gone. It's getting there. I don't know what it was. Got the new one somewhere around here. It was leaking over there anyway, on the stick wall. Yeah, I should go send this truck to a um, Bryce Kelly who has a video of painting stuff in Louisville somewhere in Florida. Those like really, really big dents and everything. Um, and he's always advocating about why paintless stamp removal is better for a traditional body shop. And he's showing pictures of paint peeling off and all this other bullshit like this thing has. Yep. Absolutely correct. Paintless tent removal. Do not bring it to a body shop. If it's really not crumbled. Because they will do a horrible job. And your paint will look like this. In no time. Or flake off. Like this. If the camera's even focusing. Yeah. I don't care. I'm tired of looking at it. There's shitty people all over in this world. Alright, we got more cleaning to do. And yeah, that's the thing I was looking at, but not at this price. Not at this... Oh my god! Is that a typo? Not at that price. The only thing used to be like $16.99 or something, or $16, $15.99. Yeah, no. That's, uh, yeah. You just stop buying stuff when things are that expensive. But someone will still buy it for $45. I will not. 